Hello everyone, this is Hina and welcome to another tutorial of Delinear Marketing and today I'm going to share with you how can you easily create a neon logos in Adobe Illustrator. Very simple easy technique that I'm going to share with you to create these type of logos. So let's start with me now. First of all, I want to create a background layer here. I want to go, go with the navy color because uh, I want to choose the dark background because the neon effect or the lightning effect uh, bring uh, more power to the dark background. So that's why I'm using it and here simply you can change the color as well for whatever you color you are choosing here so here uh, you can see that the color uh, that we uh, so here is the navy color and before doing anything else i will uh, i want to share with you you go to the file and here choose the document color mod uh, you can also choose the cmyk and the rgb color but as we are working on the uh, neon logo so i want to go with the rgb color now and uh, if you are go with the painting colors or you want to take apparent to then you can apply the cmyk color as well but there's a much difference uh, uh, when you are showing the illumination in your project then the cmyk is has very dark uh, uh, you know the background and the rgb has a very different one so i want to go with the rgb now so here press ctrl 2 to avoid any destruction during the work and now what i'm going to do i will simply take this uh, polygon tool from the shape section with the eight sides here you can apply the size so i want to go with the eight sides it's a octagon basically and uh, and simply taking it and removing this fill color from here and uh, simply taking this stroke color on place and uh, with the three points the stroke weight should be around three points so it will be look like this and uh, now taking another shape that is the rectangular bar i want to create it here like this and simply keep it in the middle and the center so here you can see that it will be look like and now what i'm going to do i will fill it with the white color and remove this stroke from here and now the first shape that we have created i will select it go to the object and expand it so it will be look like this now the next thing that i want to do i will take this uh, uh, right, rectangular bar here go to or uh, uh, go to transform and here you can simply rotate it with a 45 degree angle so it will be look like this here and now select each and everything together and here use this shape builder tool and simply define the region and remove it from here so we got this shape here so i want to work on this just keep the business theme in the middle okay so here i'm keeping it in the middle and before doing anything else i want to do one thing okay keeping the business name in the center here and now changing the font and uh, simply give it a white color reduce the spacing between the characters increase the size okay give it a tagline change the color change the font i want to go near mala ui with the semi light option increase the size And now increasing the spacing between the characters. Select everything together. Make sure it's being converted into the outlines. And now keep it in the middle here. Increase, decrease the size of the tagline. And here. So now select everything and align in the center as well. So it will be look like this. And now the next thing that I want to do, I want to give it a, uh, a simple neon effect. So for that, I will keep it on the right and take a copy of this and keep it, keep the copy on left here. And now I'm removing this fill color from here and simply keeping the stroke on place change the color of the stroke now change the stroke size like this 
go to the effect section and here choose the blur gaussian blur with the 44.5 uh, pixels i think that that is the best preview it you can also decrease it if you want it depends upon you how much that you want press ok and here i want to increase the font weight with the eight points so you can see that it will be look like this now select everything together group it by pressing ctrl g in the same way select everything and group it and now select both the layers together and uh, here go to the alignment section and uh, align it in the center and the middle so it will be look like this but before doing anything else and uh, make sure that the first layer with the solid color should be on the front so bring it up front and now align it and keep it in the middle and center so it will be look like this so these are the simple things that will give you the illuminating effect or the glowing effect or the neon type of effect in dobby illustrator very simply easy to do and you can also play with it here i am simply okay here i'm simply changing the color here so you can see that how it will be look like so here you can see how it will look like so these are the simple techniques you can play different color around it or whatever you want to do like this the main color can be changed or the uh, the illuminating color can be changed uh, whatever you want to do you can simply do it so here i have used this spectrum color so you can get this spectrum from here simply go to the gradients and here you can choose the spectrums from here okay so these are the simple things that you can easily apply on your project and you can create these type of uh, logos and a very simple easy technique uh, that you can apply it on every object that you are creating or drawing so uh, simple techniques to use so thank you so much for watching if you like my tutorial then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel have a very good day bye bye